Hey guys and welcome back to Nubdom on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So yesterday I showed you how to create an RSS feed for Google Trends and today I will show you how to create RSS feeds for Google search results. So yeah, you heard me right. The URL to RSS plugin which I showed you yesterday is also able to create RSS feeds for Google search results. So let me dive into this. So yesterday if you watched, watched the video you saw that you need Puppeteer or a subscription to Headless Browser API where you will be able to get a Puppeteer instance in the cloud and to render Google results for you. And this is valid also for this video. You will need a Puppeteer instance installed on your server or you will need Headless Browser API and use a Cloud Puppeteer from there. So any option you choose if you install Puppeteer on your server which is free or you can use Headless Browser API Puppeteer both will work. So let me show you how to use this method and how to create RSS feeds for Google search results. So I have here a Google search for football players. So if you will enter a query here in Google, you will see that you will get this URL. So just remove everything after Q equals the words you entered and everything that is afterwards you can highlight and select and simply remove and if you copy this link you will be able to scrape it in the custom created rss feed so paste the url here in the scraper start seed url select how many items you wish to get in the rss feed let's get four for example google rss let's give this feed a name click settings and here you will be able to set up scraping so first of all you will need to select in the content scraping method to use puppeteer or headless browser api puppeteer whatever you wish do not scrape start url check this seed page crawling query type select class and here in the search results click inspect and you will see the URL of the site which is linked here and above you will see div class equals and something random. So copy this part of this uh, string and enter it here in the seed page query query string. So it is this for me, for you this might be something different. Now go to do not crawl external links checkbox uncheck it this is important because the plugin by default protects from crawling external links but in this case we want to crawl external links as google.com Google has only external links on this site if we would leave this check mark checked then the plugin would search only for google.com links which are not so many in this case here so uncheck this checkbox. Also another very important thing to do is go to URLs to not crawl and import and uh, hit inspect on the translate because you might have this translation part if you are from a or your server is from a country which is not in a, in an English speaking crunchy country and select this URL so translate google.com copy it and add it here in the URLs to not crawl to import so paste so this will protect you from links from google translate because you will see that here you, the plugin will find links from external sites and this translate google.com translation links which need to be filtered and not included in the final result so yeah this is the setup of the plugin don't forget that to use puppeteer because it is really important now we can save settings and all we need to do is run importing because the plugin will now fire up puppeteer scrape the results and also get the feed generated so i will link in this video description the url to rss plugin i will link also headless browser api and also i will leave a video where i will show how to install puppeteer on your server is this, if this is an option for you so you will see that our rss feed is generated because we got the green check mark so refresh the page and you will see that this link is appearing for you and here you will find the rss feed that was generated for you so if we check the Google results here, the first item is football players worldwide, 
Football Press Worldwide, the link, a description, publish date and media with the image. Also afterwards, a list of famous football players, list of famous football players, list of famous football players biographies, list of uh, famous football player biographies, okay, and the list of Romanian international footballers, and so on. So in this case, we included only four items to speed up the process for this video to not bore you guys and yeah so here it is this is the method on how to get an rss feed for any google search simply replace the keywords you wish with uh the your own keywords don't forget to replace spaces with plus characters and you will have your own results add the maximum number of feed items the number you wish so yeah this is all for today i will link everything in this video description that you will need also settings you will need to uh, add in the plugin will be linked in the description if you have suggestion comments ideas let me know in the comment section of the video like this video if you enjoyed it it if you dislike it this is also okay but leave a comment why you disliked it and this is all for today until next time Bye-bye.